Hello everyone, we are back with our first video for the new year 2018 and today we are going to do a comparison between the Friedman BEOD and the Dirty Shirley. Now both of these pedals have been out for a while now and they are some of the best selling distortion pedals in our store and today we're going to satisfy your curiosities as to the differences between the two pedals so let's get right into it so very briefly let's talk about what's the difference between the two pedals now with the beod it's going to have a bass treble and presence in terms of controlling the eq and then you have your typical volume and gain and you have a tight knob and the tight knob will kind of fine tweak the lower end frequencies so it'd be great if you're doing a lot of palm mutes you don't want to get the chords to be too mushy so you can use the tight knob to really tighten up to bring the clarity back out in the chords and beside it we have the dirty shirley which has a bass treble presence and a mids knob and then you have the volume and gain control and you have a tight toggle switch instead of a knob that's on the BEOD. Now two things you will have to take note when I'm doing this comparison is number one for most of the video you're going to notice that the mids knob is actually on zero. Why? That is because when the mids knob is set at zero on a dirty shirley is actually a flat uh, EQ for the mid range if I just made any sense. So basically what I'm trying to say is you can't take away any mids in this pedal all you can do is add them. Number two, there is an internal gain trim port on each pedal. So in each pedal is shipped, the BEOD has the gain trim port at 12 o'clock and I believe the Dirty Shirley has it around 10 o'clock or less. So for this particular demo, in order to get the gain structure to be rather similar between both of the pedals, I have left the gain trim port on the BEOD at the middle. However, with the Dirty Shirley, I have it cranked all the way up. So we should be getting a similar amount of gain from each of these pedals, at least I tried my best to get it to sound as close as it can because the real goal of mine here is to demonstrate how different the gain sounds and the gain structure between each of these pedals. So what we're going to do is we're going to sweep through the entire gain knob for the first part and then I'm going to EQ the pedal to taste and then we're going to explore the tight knob on the BOD and the tight switch on the Dirty Shirley and finally we're going to fool around with the mids knob in the Dirty Shirley and see how thick you can get your tone to sound. Now I'm using my Ibanez RGAIX6U, it comes with bare knuckle aftermaths and I'm going into a Yamaha THR100H. Now the Yamaha is going into an orange PPC212 cabinet with V30s and it's mic'd up with a Shure SM57 and an Audio Technica 80-2035.
Oh, <laughs> my 
So there you go, that is the difference in tone between the B.E.O.D. and the Dirty Shirley. Each of them has their own unique tone and hopefully in this video I helped demonstrate uh, the clear differences between each of them. For pricing info, check out musicbiz.com without my, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content and see you real soon.